Okay, uh, let's look at the theorem one, uh, rectangle area formula. All right, so this is a very familiar formula. So if you have, uh, you know, region R, which is a R by H rectangle, then its area is base times height, so B times H. All right, so uh, in order to prove that, let's prove this uh, result. Uh, let's say you have another rectangle, R prime, which is B prime by H. All right, then if the heights are the same, so H equals H, H prime, then the ratio of the areas between these two areas is the same as the ratio between the, the, the lengths of the, of the base, right? So let's do that. All right, so if you look at the B prime over B, right? Let's assume that the B, B, B prime is larger or equal to B. Uh, if that's not the case, we can always switch R, R prime and R, right? So we know that the for every natural number, say n, on the denominator, right? We can always. This is just going to be a fraction. So there, you can always find some uh, uh, integer or natural number m such that uh, this uh, this ratio fraction is bigger than m over n, but less than or equal to m plus 1 over n, right? So you just uh, keep on increasing uh, m until until it hits uh, a greater than or equal to b prime over b. So we can always do this, right? Then I'm going to just uh, multiply everyone by, say, uh, nb. So multiply by nb, right? Then you will get the m times b is uh, is less than um, so you have n b prime less than or equal to m plus one uh, b right then imagine these uh, uh, rectangles so you have um, everyone has uh, say uh, h height is h then you have um, B by H rectangle kind of uh, placed right next to each other like this All right then you keep on doing that and uh, you have say M of those All right so this is going to be uh, M B because you have m of those m b, right? Then you look at another rectangle, which is just a collection of uh, 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 h by b prime rectangles. So here's h. So this is b prime. But uh, you, you're gonna have uh, n of those, right? So this is gonna be. and b prime and the last one is going to be it's very similar to the first one but except that you have one more so i'm going to just do the same thing but it's going to have one more so it's going to kind of look like this All right so here's h and this is going to be um quantity m plus one times b all right, so you can see that uh, this uh, first rectangle is going to be a subset. You can put it right inside because it's a little shorter and the same same height. And uh, this is a subset of that guy. So we can have the area of this guy. Let's call it the R1, and this is called the R2, and this is called R3. So area of R1 is uh, less than or equal to, um, actually this is going to be a strict inequality, right? Uh, area of uh, R2 less than area of um, R3, right? So we have that. So therefore, 
we have all right area of r1 it's simply there are let's see h by b then you have m of those so it's a uh, m times area of uh, r and the middle one is uh, you have n of uh, h time b prime so it's a uh, n times area of r prime which is less than or equal to so this is just uh, m plus 1 times the area of r right then if you divide this guy through by n times area of r you will get the m over n is less than uh, area of uh, r prime over area of r which is less than or equal to m plus 1 over n right so you can see that uh, b prime over v b and area of r prime over area of r has the same lower bound and upper bound right then if you look at the difference between um, b prime over b and the area of uh, r prime area of r uh, if you look at the positive or non-negative difference between these two quantities right both of these quantities are between m over n and m plus 1 over n right so the difference between these two guys at the most is because uh, the uh, gap is gap between m over n and m plus 1 over n is simply just 1 over n right so for each n the difference between these two guys is going to be always less than or maybe equal to 1 over n actually it's a strict lesson it's not going to matter right but uh, this guy is going to actually goes to zero as n approaches infinity because this is true for all n so let the n go to positive infinity which means that, that the difference between these two guys basically disappears right so therefore right area of uh, r prime over area of rectangle R is equal to B prime over B. Right? So that's the first part. And the second part is that what if we um, uh, we want to show that the if the bases are the same. So B equals B prime then you can guess what's going to happen, right? area of r prime over area of r you can see that you can go through the similar argument to show that this is going to be just the, the ratio between the heights right so i'll just say this is by similar argument right all right, you notice that the, we are using, uh, you know, additivity here. So, because you have a whole bunch of things added together. And uh, we have, uh, you know, that's why you have m times the area of r. And uh, n times the area of r prime. And m plus 1 plus the area of r. So, we are following the axiom. All right, but anyway. So, by similar argument, uh, we, we could show that the, if the bases are the same, the ratio of the, between these two area is going to be the same as ratio of height right so what we're going to do next is we can use these two results to actually show that the area of rectangular r is equal to base times height right so let's do that so i need to make some room all right so i drew some uh, uh, three uh, rectangles first one is a unit square we know that the area is one from the axiom Right, so the second rectangle is our prime, and I have the height 1, but the base is going to be B, right? And so these two guys have the same height, right? 
and uh, R is going to be a B by H uh, rectangle, which is we're, which is what we are interested in, right? So by looking at the first two rectangles, we know that the area, the ratio between area of uh, R prime over area of the unit square it's going to be since it has the same height it's going to just depend on the uh, 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 base so b over one right and also um, area of uh, unit square is going to be one right and how about the between these two guys right so uh, it's going to be the ratio between area of uh, rectangle r over area of the uh, rectangular r prime all right since these two guys have the same base so the ratio is going to be the ratio between the heights so it's going to be h over uh, one all right then what we can do is just to multiply these guys together all right so this is going to be one and uh, you can see that the r prime uh, area of r prime and the area of r prime on top cancel out each other so if you multiply these two guys together uh, let's see this times that these cancel this is one so you're going to have uh, area of rectangular r right so this is just the right hand side is b times h so it's the b times h which is exactly what we wanted to have right so that's the proof. Uh, it's a little lengthy, but uh, so uh, that's the proof. And we're just following the area axioms to show that uh, area of the rectangle H by, uh, B by H rectangle has the area base time height BH. Right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.